Hey family, welcome back. Happy weekend. We finally made it. I'm going to combine two sections today. I'm just trying to get through this quickly for you guys. So today we are going to do the, I've forgotten which section we're going to do. Oh, we are doing citrus and also floral. So you can see both of these are not the biggest section. So I was like, you know what? Let's just combine them and go from there. So let's get into it. So the first one showing in the catalog is one that I do not have on me. It is a bestseller and that is Blue Grotto. It was not included in the tester kit, the transitional tester kit that I have. It is a really lovely scent. So it is, let me get the readers out. I have readers all over the place. If you are like me, you just got to have them everywhere. Um, it is Tropical Note Sweet Citrus and Lush Botanicals. It is, men love it, women love it, everybody loves it. It is just as beautiful. Um kind of unisex um citrusy fragrance it's really really beautiful love it and that's why it's a bestseller next we have cool lime this is one of my favorites it oh my nails match it used to be in my club and mm, i took it out it is just a sugary sweet lime fragrance it is loud as all outdoors it is strong it is loud and in charge oh love this so much so many people love this scent i am so surprised this is not listed as a bestseller it is coconut milk creamy vanilla and fresh lime it is really really beautiful powerhouse scent favorite Next, we have Coconut Lemongrass, which is also a bestseller, which probably means I don't have it, which I don't. So it's the white one right here. Um, a lot of people love this one, too. Um, I'm kind of like, uh, you know, I gave it a try just to see what the hype was about, because people say that if you put it on, if you have scents in your house, like, you know, cooking scents, fish, stuff like that. You put it on and it just knocks the odors out like that. I can't even, couldn't even snap my finger. So it is um, creamy tropical coconut and sunny bright lemongrass. Once again, it is a bestseller. And uh, I've heard it's amazing. It's just not one of my favorite scents. Next, we have Habana Cabana. So you already know this is going to be a tropical scent. Uh, yeah, tropical pineapple scent. Not exactly my favorite. I'm not the biggest pineapple fan. It has to just really blow me out the water for me to love it. So Habana Cabana is... Um, it's a medley of pineapples, oranges, bananas, and berries. Once again, like 12,000 fruits in one. You guys know how I get down. I'm just like, ah. But, yeah, it's it's nice. It's just not my cup of tea. Uh, next up, we have lemon sorbet. And that is this one. And... It, it smells just like what it is, a lemon sorbet dessert that you would eat. The little icy dessert. So lemon sorbet is fresh cut lemon, grapefruit zest, sweetened by sugar cane. So that is lemon sorbet. Uh, we have paradise punch. And I'm going to guess this smells like punch. Yeah. Smells like fruit punch. With a little added citrus note to it. So Paradise Punch is um, wild orange, lemon juice, acai berries, and star fruit. So you got a lot going on in this. It's not just kind of your straight up fruit punch scent like the red drink that you would drink. So, if you like fruit punch with like a little bit more, then check this one out. We have pineapple mango. 
Once again, you guys already know I'm probably not going to be thrilled with the scent. It smells, I smell more mango than I do pineapple. It should be called mango pineapple in my opinion. Because I'm getting mango first and then the pineapple, but maybe it's just me. So it is described as a bright blend of sweet pineapple and juicy mango softened by passion flower. So it's a little bit more than pineapple and mango going on. Next up is pink lemon water. This was a scent of the month and it was really, really awesome. I really enjoyed this one. It kind of gives you sugar vibes, but without so much sweetness. So if you were somebody that thought sugar was just too, you know, teeth rotting out your mouth sweet, this is a good alternative. It's still giving you that pink kind of girly soft vibe, but with that little hint of lemon. So this one is rose water infused with refreshing lemon and a spoonful of sugar. So there you have it, pink lemon water. Uh, next we have sparkling yellow. Now this was part of the rainbow collection, I believe. Yeah. And then this turned out to be my favorite one out of the whole collection. I think it was part of the rainbow collection. I will look it up and comment below if it's not, but yeah, I enjoyed this one. And I was really shocked because I'm not always the biggest, um, citrus person so yeah sparkling yellow it is um radiant radiant lemonade um grapefruit and pineapple and the reason why i keep turning these around is because i noticed in the last video i would think that i was turning this on this side and it was straight for you and sometimes it was upside down it was just all over the place so i'm just kind of doing like that so you guys can see it at a glance squeeze the day just the og favorite this is so amazing it is a sugary lemon scent it smells like lemon pound cake it is absolutely wonderful we've had it in cleaning products it is everything so squeeze the day is um pure lemons balanced by a hint of vanilla cream if you've never tried this, you are missing out on your whole entire life. You've got to try this one. Next is Sunkissed Citrus. I remember revisiting this once because I hadn't tried it in like forever. And I really did enjoy it. It's a beautiful citrus scent. It's like a soft citrus, soft orange scent. But it's orange with a little more zhuzh to it. It's really, really pretty though. So Sunkissed Citrus is um, oranges, lemons, limes, and grapefruit. Now this is a multi-fruit blend I can get behind. It's really soft, it's really pretty, love that. And the last one in the citrus category is Tangerine Cream Sickle. It's been a minute since I've smelt this. Mm. and it it smells like a creamsicle the tangerine is not you know so pow in your face very creamy very light on the citrus it's just a creamy um scent with the citrus kind of in the background so this is icy tangerine mango and vanilla cream really really good so now let's move on to florals so we have eight items that make up the floral section which you think it would be a lot more with it being spring and summer and flowers blooming and all that it really kind of confuses me sometimes when they switch the catalog and you're like okay where are the florals but anyway 
So we have eight in the catalog. I have five on me, and that is because two are brand new bars. So we've already discussed those in the previous video on the 10 new fragrances. And the other one is Luna, which they never include in the transitional kit because I guess they figure Luna's been around since the beginning of time. You all should know what it smells like. And if you don't, it's just your own fault. So let's just talk about Luna. Luna is this beautiful scent. It is just that all around scent. If you don't know what to put on, if somebody is coming by the house, man, woman, kid, alien, whoever, everybody is gonna love Luna. It is just that across the board, amazing scent. It doesn't smell like this. It doesn't smell like that. It just smells good. That's all you need to know. Just get it. So it is jasmine, sweet pea, freesia, juicy berries, and sandalwood. It sounds like a lot, but it's blended so well. It just all meshes and molds into each other perfectly. I really need to get me a bar of Luna because it's just amazing. It's just that since you don't think about it, it's the easy reach. You want your house to smell good. You throw it on. Nobody is offended. Everybody loves it. So let's talk about the rest of these scents. Okay, so we have Aloha Citrus. Um, that is this one right here. And this is pretty too. Oh, I flaked off on my nose. This was another one that I had to revisit and... It's very pretty. It's another one. It's kind of Luna-esque where it doesn't really, no sense really or notes really just kind of jump forward to you, you know, to say, oh, that smells like lemon with such and such. It's just blended really well. It's just a beautiful smelling bar. It almost smells like a fruit punch scent but it's almost like a cologne or something you could wear, like a body product. It's very soft, very, very pretty. So this one is Tangerine Jade Blossom and Vetiver. The Vetiver is what is giving me that body care note. You know, Vetiver is a note that's in a whole lot of cologne. So yeah, Aloha Citrus for the win. Next we have here comes the sunflower. This used to be in my club for the longest time. It is just this beautiful floral scent. Just really, it's, it's, you can smell the sunflower, but it's like a perfumey sunflower scent. Really, really pretty. Love this one. It was an outstanding performer. So this one is Sunkissed Petals Fruity Musk. You guys know I love some musk. And strawberry. So petals, musk, strawberry. It's the musk for me. Just saying. Uh, we have another bestseller, which is hibiscus pineapple. And eh, this one doesn't really do anything for me. I get more floral, like a almost like a creamy powdery floral. I don't really even get the pineapple. The pineapple is like so far in the back. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, but it's a bestseller, so a lot of you guys are loving it. And it, this might do even better warm. Like I said, this is another reason why I go through the catalog to refresh my brain on stuff. We're so busy getting the new and the hot and what's happening and what's now that you forget the regular catalog fragrances so it's a good time to you know throw something on i might put this on in the bathroom today as a matter of fact i'm gonna set it aside so you can just re-smell things and get reacquainted with things so this is hibiscus pineapple and mandarin so i'm gonna set that right there so i remember to put that in the boss in the banyo um, next we have Kukui and Coconut. This is the one that I've told you guys. Ad nauseum smells like the body products from Sol de Janeiro. Um, the Cherosa 62 scent. Oh, it's so good. 
This is currently, uh, why am I showing this to you like you can smell it? It's currently in my club. Um, I'm wondering if I should take it out or gnaw. Um, I think I am going to skip my subscription. My Scentsy Club is coming due like in a hot second. I already got the email like a few days ago. I think I'm going to skip my subscription uh, and just kind of go from there. I mean, I'll show you guys what's in it because as we all know, the month is getting ready to end. So I have got to throw some stuff in there. I've got stuff already thrown in there. So I really need to determine what I'm going to keep what things are leaving that I just want to throw in there for safekeeping and to give me longer to figure out, you know, what I want to keep or, or let go of. So this one is uh, tropical coconut, kukui nut, and jasmine. It is everything. Uh, we have lilacs and, oh, well, this is the last one in the back. Lilacs and violets. This is another one. Uh, some people love it. Some people hate it. I mean, if you love florals, it does give me bathroom spray vibes, though. Like Glade bathroom spray. The bathroom spray that your mama used to use. It was powdery. It created the white fog all over the place. As soon as I smell this, that's what I get. I don't mind it. I'm not mad at it, you know, because the bathroom smelled good at the end of the day. But I'm just saying that is the vibes that this gives me, which could be why some people don't like it. It is loud. It is in charge. I am here for it. This is going in the bathroom. And it is the perfect combo of lilacs and violets. The smell of spring. So we're setting this one aside too to go into the ball. So there we have it. <clears throat> we are done. We have gone through two more categories, quick, fast, and in a hurry. I wanted to do combine these because the next category is fresh and there is a page, almost a page and a half of fresh scent. So it needs its own dedicated video. So Comment below. Let me know uh, what your favorites are in these two categories. What are you loving and what are you loving not so much? Thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.